Designing hardware isn't hard. What's hard is understanding why behind every component and connection. Imagine being able to design a complete hardware board from concept to fully manufacturable PCB with the help of AI as your designing copilot. In this course, I'll be showing you how to utilize AI tools for accelerating your hardware design process, reduce errors, and having a buddy as your designing copilot. Thank you Next PCB for sponsoring this course. Next PCB is one stop for all sorts of your PCB requirements such as PCB fabrication, assembly, component sourcing, etc. At the end of this course, you will get all the engineering file of this project and you can directly order it from Next PCB. All right. Let me quickly walk you through what exactly you are going to learn in this course and what you should not expect from it. This will help you understand the value of this training and also set the right expectation from day one. Fundamentals of hardware design. We will start it from absolute basics, understanding what is a schematic is, how a circuit is structured, naming convention, etc. Hands on learning approach. This is not a theory only course. Everything we will learn, we will immediately apply to a real world project. How to use the software. You will learn how to use KiCad professionally from creating schematics, assigning footprint, doing PCB layout, etc. How to read data sheet. We will learn how to extract only the useful information from 40 50 pages of data sheets. Component placement and logic behind component placement. You will get to learn about the logic behind every component placement in the using reference and open source design you will learn how to study existing proven circuits extract best practices reuse design blocks and avoid mistakes by learning from other high quality open source designs manufacturing and component sourcing we will cover how to generate bill of material pick components that are actually in stock avoid fake parts reduce cost etc integration of ai in hardware design in this course we are going to utilize ai tools as our designing copilot which will help us to review our schematic and component placement now what you cannot expect from this course that designing complex pcbs which could be have 16 24 or 32 layers for that you need depth understanding of electronics and electrical engineering additionally you also need several years of experience in design this course divided into 10 focused episode episode 1 is the introduction episode 2 covers features working design planning log diagram and power budgeting then we move step by step through schematic design pcb layout manufacturing files ordering code generation final testing in episode 10 so if you already know some part feel free to jump directly to the episode you care about you don't have to watch everything in order just pick what you need and start from there the idea actually came from a simple problem in my daily life i often put my e-bike on charge and forget to unplug it which wastes electricity and reduces battery life the same happens with my laptop and phone i plug them overnight and forget to turn off power in the morning so i decided to build something that could automatically control power based on time but also be smart enough to connect with AI or the cloud allowing me to control or monitor it remotely that's how the idea of this gen AI timer board was born a project that simple useful and scalable for real world applications before we start designing hardware I want to quickly walk you through the tools we will use in this course these tools aren't random each one solves a specific engineering problem if you understand why a tool is used Used, you will know when to use it and when not to now you may wonder why to use keycat well we will be using keycat for schematic capture and pcb design keycat is open source actively maintained and powerful enough for professional grade hardware there are no licensing restriction no feature lockouts and no projects limit more importantly keycat forces you to understand your design it doesn't hide complexity behind automation which is exactly what what a beginner need to learn real hardware design let's see how to download keycat open your favorite browser log on on keycat.org then click on download select the operating system that you are using on your machine so i am using windows i will click on windows then after that according to your geography select the region so i am in asia i will click on alibaba cloud 
as you can see download is started once the software is downloaded just install it for symbols and footprint we'll be using snap eda and ultra librarian these platforms provides verified schematic symbol pcb footprint and 3d model directly from the manufacturers this saves time reduces errors but still you should consider matching it with the data sheet you should never follow them blindly we will also use google sheet for maintaining the bill of material gpio mapping component selection etc and if you don't want to use google sheet you can also utilize microsoft excel sheet since this course is about hardware designing with ai copilot not replacing real engineers we will be using DeepSeek and chat gpt for schematic review power budgeting component comparison catching common mistakes firmware code generation ai accelerate thinking but the data sheet and reference design remain the authority we will use ai to assist not to decide for firmware development we will use vs code and Arduino IDE. you can use any of them the hardware principle stays the same the tool choice depends on your comfort level so feel free to use any when the board is complete we will order it using next pcb they offer good quality reasonable price and support for standard keycat gerber outputs before ordering will be run design rule checks and verify all the manufacturing files we will use github also for for this project and basically with the help of github you can do the version control and multiple people can work on same project so in the end of this course once our project will complete we will upload that project on our github and i will be showing you how to do that so this was the quick introduction about the course project idea tool chains that we need in this course from next episode we'll be talking about the features of this project working block diagram component selection and power budgeting so if you stuck somewhere if you have any doubt make sure to comment it below or you can also join our community chat for further doubt clear all the respective links are in the description so catch you soon